Charlie, honey, wake up. Good morning. You lied to me, Charlie. <laughs> you said it was just going to be the two of us. I didn't lie, Bertha. Things change. Goodbye, Charlie. Don't leave me, Berta. I love you. Can we talk about this? I'm sorry, I do single men only. I'm in, I'm out. There are no complications. But I am single. Uh, Berta, I hate to bring this up again, but you just, you cannot put the peanut butter in the refrigerator. It gets hard. And, uh, and on a related subject, the peanut butter stains on Jake's shirts really require an enzyme pre-soak. I hope you two will be very happy together. But who's gonna take care of me? Who's gonna do the laundry and the shopping and the cleaning and all the other stuff? That's the scrubbing bubble there. The thing is, I'm, I'm going through a, a really tough time right now. My, my marriage is collapsing. My, my business is slow. My, my little boy is being dragged back and forth fr from his mother's house to, to, to Malibu. My alcoholic husband ran off with my daughter's parole officer and I clean rich people's toilets for a living. Okay, let's not make this a competition. Oh, lower back. You, uh, you do a lot of lifting? Of course you do. You're a maid and I'm an ass. I'm a housekeeper. Of course. And you're an ass. Yes. Hey, uh, why don't you sit down? Let me take a look at it. What? I'm a chiropractor. Okay, but no funny business. Not to worry. I can see the clothes hamper was a wise purchase. Barda? No, it's Liz Hurley, but I'm holding water. I'm still sleeping here. Could you come back in a little while? I could, or you could get your pampered ass out of bed and let me do my demeaning job and get on with my hellish life. Excuse me, Berta, but last time I checked, you worked for me. So I'll get up when I'm good and ready. Sorry I had to pull rank on you. Berta, for God's sake. Hey, do you want clean towels? But I'm trying to do something here. So do it. Well, I can't do it now. <laughs> Is something wrong? I mean, beyond the usual demeaning job, hellish life stuff? You really want to know? No, but I'm up and my bed's gone. Mom lets me smoke. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? No reason I shouldn't trust the judgment of a woman who's off selling bootleg Metallica t-shirts in a monster truck rally. <laughs> I gotta do some grocery shopping for your brother. I'll be back in a little while. What about Prudence? She'll be fine. Just keep her out of the liquor cabinet. Don't do anything stupid or you'll go to jail. And you wouldn't have to lift a finger. I'll have someone there to do the cooking, the serving, and the cleaning. Really? Who? Oh. My housekeeper, Berta. She's a saint, and she's really looking forward to this. No way in hell. Are you insane? What's wrong with you? Come on. I don't work holidays, Charlie. Please. I got a life, you know. Pretty please. My brother is in the witness protection program, and I've been invited to spend Thanksgiving with him at an undisclosed location. I'll give you $1,000. Done. <laughs> hey, Berta, look who's here. Hi, Berta. Oh, honey, don't tell me you're back here again. Don't you ever learn. As a matter of fact, I think I have. Good for you. You can do so much better. Here it is. Ooh, Berta, nice looking bird. Thanks for blowing off your family and cooking for ours. <laughs> Shove over. Morning, Berta. Need some help? Yeah, come to my house and explain to my daughter that we don't put up bail for cute guys with Costa Rican passports. I don't believe it. None of my bills have been paid in four months. My credit is shot. All my cards are dead. Well, you don't have to worry about paying me this week, Charlie. Thank you, Berta. I'll just take this espresso maker and be on my way. <laughs> Call me when things pick up. <laughs> You check to see if he's constipated. Berta, his mother and I are going through a divorce, and there's a lot of emotions he hasn't processed. Maybe so, but there's also a lot of string cheese he hasn't processed. <laughs> I'm telling you, my youngest once ate a whole can of Play-Doh. Stopped her up for two weeks. 
Berta, please. Finally pooped out an ashtray. Berta. That's the day I quit smoking. Okay, that's a bad sign. Yeah, it's a symptom of clinical depression. You would know. Please, if my kids had gone to bed at 7 o'clock, I'd have dipped myself in gravy and danced naked on the rooftops. <laughs> I hope you don't mind, but I talked to him before he went to sleep last night. What did you say? I said, uh, drink this bottle of prune juice. <laughs> you feed him nothing but pizza and pancakes. It's a wonder his eyeballs are still in their sockets. <laughs> doesn't want to go, don't make him go. Yeah. He's 10, he's old enough to work. What? <laughs> when I was your age, I spent my summers hosing tarantulas off bananas in the back of my stepfather's truck. Hey, what's going on? I'm going to camp. Got a little email this morning from an ex-girlfriend who says she needs to see me. No kidding, I wonder if she's knocked up. <laughs> Nobody's knocked up. I haven't heard from her in five years. So she's bringing you a four-year-old. Believe me, nobody's bringing anything. Remember Jill? Jill the slob? Yeah, but do you remember how hot she was? Yeah, well, sure, she was a tight unit, but she left dirty dishes everywhere. Swear to God, this broad left half-eaten casseroles in the bathtub. The house is clean. I'm going home now. I'll pick that up on Monday. I'm sorry, that's mine. Hi. Hi. Okay, I'm out of here. Get Zooks. Morning. 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 <laughs> so how was your weekend? Fine. Okay. Nothing exciting happening in your world, Charlie? Like what? Oh, I don't know. Go to a fun party, see a great movie, run into an old flame with a new wick. <laughs> The odds, huh? One brother turns them gay, the other turns them guy. If you don't mind, Berta, I'd rather not talk about it. Okay. I'll fix you something to eat. How about a sausage link and a couple eggs? Hello. Anybody home? Oh, no. Charlie, <clears throat> I need to talk to you about your friend, Bill. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. No, I, I'd really rather not discuss this in front of the help. Uh, Bertie, could you give us some privacy? Hell no. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, Bill and I shared something very special this weekend. <laughs> I realize that might be awkward for you, so I thought I'd come by to discuss it. Well, that's nice, Mom. Isn't that nice, Alan? Um, you're the expert, Charlie. Is it too early to start drinking? What's that supposed to be? Mom, uh, how much do you know about Bill? Charlie, I have no doubt that you two shared some sordid adventures together, but that's the past. <laughs> the only thing that matters to me now is that Bill is a handsome, sensitive, wonderful man. <laughs> Excuse me? Nothing. I'm just happy to be here. Wow. She doesn't know. Yeah, well, someone's gonna have to tell her. Charlie. What? I will clean your house free for a month if you let me do it. <laughs> what did I miss? Nothing. I don't think he's told her yet. Yeah, what are you doing here? You finished cleaning hours ago. I took a nap in the laundry room so I'd be fresh for the big show. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>